Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I want to make this video and shout out to my brother Spike Lee. I thank him so much, even though I haven't even seen. I have not seen uh, the movie yet, but he's going to do um, a movie based on the life of the black soldiers and from the black perspective of Vietnam, you know, because we always see movies like Platoon or Full Metal Jacket, or which were excellent movies, by the way. I'm not taking anything away from them because I watched them all, um, but I had relatives, and y'all know I've done countless of videos about how the brothers and my um, guys that they grew up in the neighborhood with us would just disappear and have to go to Nam and never come back or they would come back um, totally not who they were when they left and so I experienced that in my uh, youth and it's very important because I have a cousin um, let's see, I have a cousin that served in Nam and he came back and I think he was also afflicted with Agent Orange. Um, and my cousin Chucky, who I love so much, was um just never the same. We had people from the neighborhood, and I'm gonna shout you all like Howard or Nathaniel or Tommy. Um, these guys never came back. Um and they were guys that ran around the neighborhood, guys that try to talk to um, your older friends or your neighbor, and they would use you maybe to give her a message. Uh, we were little runners for the teenagers back then, you know, and I would say I was probably maybe eight, nine. The bottom line is these folks never came back, y'all. So when I see Spike Lee doing that movie, um, and I'm just so overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed with emotion thinking about some of the stories I heard. Even Marvin Gaye, when he talked about how his brother Frankie would uh, tell him stories about the war and how he would just, you know, it would make him, it would break his heart. It would also break his heart how the Vietnamese would say to us, soul brother, this is not your war. This is not your war. Why are you over here fighting for a country and for a government that when you go back home is going to repress you, is going to oppress you, is going to make you less than? Why are you over here? It's not your war, soul brother. Not your war. Things like that. Oh, they would tell me how the Vietnamese women used to put razor blades inside themselves and uh, oh split open the GIs that wanted to get with them. Uh, it was a bad time. The soldier said that napalm stick to kids. And there's a famous photo of a woman running down the village with her baby skin falling off from napalm. It was a terrible time, you guys. T terrible time. And all I'm saying is it was a long time overdue, and I appreciate Spike Lee so much for doing this. Those of y'all who have people in your family who have been to Vietnam, who experienced the war, talk to them. These are, we need to start bridging this gap between the young and the old, something that this government has had a great history of separating us, keeping us fighting against one another. Keeping us pitted against one another. That's how we can kill each other. Okay? Because as the outer society hate us, we begin to hate us. Because we begin to feel like we were worthless. But I'm so glad to see the children out there today that are willing to stand up and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this government. And not take the things that we took. Our parents before us. Our parents before us. And I'm not just saying that. That they want to do what we wouldn't didn't do. This is what we produced. This is what I think of it. 
So I don't think that they're no more um, different. All the cries from the ancestors and up until now, the generation after generation after generation of fighting Jim Crow, of fighting slavery, of fighting Reconstruction, fight, 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 fight. This is what it has produced. And so I know that it's a universal uh, awakening. And there's nothing that anybody can do about that. Um, I just know that when you think about war and when you see the face of war, it's never black. And so many black soldiers were on the front line. Stevie Wonder had a song, um, they had me standing on the front line. Yeah. They had me standing on the front line. But when it uh, comes, when it, but I stand at the back of the line when it comes to getting ahead. Talk about how he went through the town parading his purple heart. Y'all need to hear that. It's on that Hotter Than July album. Okay, CD. Um, um, but they had me on the front line. Speaks to the Vietnam sto uh, soldiers and the black story and black Vietnam. Don't believe that the, the face of Vietnam, we fought in every war. We fought on the side of the North and the South. Um, to be an American. And I'm here to say, with my one, I adjure you. We all are Americans. It's the ones that are stopped trying, that don't realize it yet, that are having a problem. But they getting it together. They're going to have to. They're going to have to. So, I just know that seeing Vietnam from our perspective, from the way we felt it, and what we had to experience fighting a war over there and then coming back here and fighting against our oppressors over here. These people have a lot of nerve projecting their insecurities, their um, emotional immaturity off us and have built a society on projection, gaslighting. And basically, as I say over and over and over and over again, a system that is narcissistic can help no, have no other alternative but to be a hypocrite and bring madness into whatever it uh, touches. So, you know, we are against that, that wicked madness and against the lies. So when you watch this movie, whenever it comes out, I, I ask you to support it with everything in me. You paying homage to all the brothers that had to leave the hood, I mean had to leave the block, that were doing good things. Some of them were doing were just just outstanding young men. And they got caught up and they never came back. And some of them that did come back at least from my neighborhood, they were never the same, ever. And so today I pay homage to all the Vietnam vets, every last one of you. We owe our lives to you because when you came back here, you didn't get the welcome, you didn't get the parade, you didn't get, you got hate when you came back here. So undeserving, so undeserving. And for us as black people to be put even further deeper in the white man's mess. And then have the people that we over there fighting for the white man tell us, why are you here? That is the most mind boggling, the most mind boggling thought process you can possibly have. Anyway, let me stop it right here. All right, because I can just go on and on and on. Please support and I ain't getting no money for this, okay? Just letting you know. Support the brother. Support Spike Lee's movie when it comes out because you're supporting all the black men and women who served in Vietnam and who are invisible as far as this government is concerned. Thank you.